Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part two of the meow tutorial. And today what we're going to do, I'm going to go over how I color match for this nose right here. And this, this portion of the nose right there. And get some of that pinkish, cooled look about it. And this is also going to serve as an additional video for color mixing and matching. But anyway, let's get on to this tutorial, guys. All right, guys, another example here. So I'm going to need to mix this color for this nose. So I'll put a hole punch in this piece of white paper so I can see what I'm actually looking at. And you get into the darker colors here. And get away from that into this lighter color here. <clears throat> Come over to my color wheel. Kind of in this color range here. The value's lighter, but it's off in here. And that puts me close to the magenta. So let's see how we do. Let's, let's see how I'm going to get that. I put a little magenta in my cup. Two drops. I want to desaturate it. I like to desaturate before I start mixing for my value. And magenta's down here roughly on my color wheel, on this particular color wheel. I like to desaturate a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of moss green, which should bring that color in about there. We'll see how close I am with that. I'm going to drop a reducer in there. Yeah. It's obviously going to be way too dark. If I Test that mix. Use that magenta and that moss green. Looks something like that. Just probably right in here where I say we're at. We won't be a little lighter than that. So I'm going to get my white. Hopefully you can see that. I got just a little bit of white down in my cup. I'm going to spray that out. I'm going to add one drop of that mix. Sorry, you probably can't see that. When I spray that out, get that mix now it's easy to see how this is way too vibrant gonna add some more moss green to that mix see how it's getting less vibrant You can compare. You can say, okay, what does that color need? Right now, looks like it needs to be moved a little bit to the orange. So what I'm going to do is shift it. I'm going to go back to my original mix. 
I'm gonna add a little drop of yellow and it'll pull it because my color is more down here needs to come up this way just that little bit went too far so we're gonna go ahead and add just a tiny bit of red violet back or magenta back, excuse me. Let's see what this color is like. I'll have to add white to it. If I spray gently, I'm gonna cut a new punch, hole punch. Now, if I spray until saturation, that color is eventually gonna get dark like that. I can lay off it. I could lay it like that. get a pretty I realize there's some blending going on so I can get pretty close or I can add white back to it in this case I got this mixed about where I want it I'm just gonna work with the transparent So now I'm going to get my reference out of the way. Wait, what are you doing, man? You didn't show any of that fur. Don't worry about it, guys. With the marvel of modern video editing, I will come back in part three and show you how we laid out this fur. I've jumped ahead in the video just to get this out. But anyway, let's get back into it. By working transparently... I can easily control how dark or how light I want that paint. Notice that I'm spraying very, very gently here. So I'll spray uh, pretty light there at the nose, at the top. And then what I will do is I'll come in here where I want some darker spots and I'm able to create my textures mostly with an airbrush like that. Put that crease in. Um, in the middle, you'll see me do in a second. And of course, I will take some erasing and pull out some little bitty highlights right there and make pretty pretty quick work of this um, by mixing transparently it took a little bit of time to mix the colors a little bit longer than i normally would but i wanted to go through the process to show how i go about some of that color mixing and how that goes about and that's pretty much it guys All right, guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by here today. By the way, my name is Bill Kennedy of W. Leon Artistry. If this is your first time here, you can learn lots and lots more by hitting the subscribe button, ringing the notification bell, and turning on notifications for YouTube. As always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that share button once in a while, guys. And, you know, help get the word out and get started. If you want to help support the channel, that's the best way that you can do so. And leaving comments down below, any questions you have, I will answer as soon as I can. And always, if you're interested in the material we're using, there are links down in the description below. Those are affiliate links. Y'all know how that works. It's another way that you can support the channel by not having it cost you anything to buy the stuff that you need and doesn't cost you anymore and i may earn a small commission but anyway guys we appreciate y'all stopping by here today y'all have a great one bye